Hi, I'm George Cow, and I want to tell you about my upcoming online course, which is all about how to create and launch your own online courses. So I have been launching online courses for more than 10 years, and I've had thousands of students in my online courses, and it's become one of my main revenue sources, income sources. Um, I have group coaching programs, but a lot of the group coaching program members came out of taking my online courses. So that's one of the benefits, of two benefits here I've already named, of creating your own online courses is that you get income wherever, you can do this wherever you are in the world. You don't have to leave your home, especially now that we're recording this during the, the pandemic lockdowns. We all have to work online a lot more, and why not share your expertise and message online with the world? So the great thing about online courses, anyone can take your course as long as they have the internet. So that's anyone in any country uh, that you know has that speaks your language. And the secondly, second benefit, as I mentioned, is that once someone takes your online course, they're in; they have a better foundation for doing further work with you, whether you do coaching or mentoring or healing or counseling or consulting. So the other, of course, the other major benefit of online courses is you get to make a positive difference in many people's lives, much more than you could just doing one-to-one -one service work. Online courses is also a very enjoyable thing to do, at least the way that, um, the way that I do it, the way I teach it. And how to do it is I think it's very light to launch and deliver and it's more fun and it actually grows us grows our knowledge our body of work much more quickly than if we just only had one-to-one -one services so one of the questions that I often get is well how do I know I'm ready to teach an online course so you know you're ready if you find yourself describing anything to people to clients to friends that they find valuable. If you teach any kind of skill or process, even if it's like little exercises that clients do, those could become an online course. So basically, if you only do work for clients, they don't have to learn anything themselves, you just do everything for them, well, then even in that situation, you wanna ask, can you teach what you do to your clients? But a lot of us, in our work, one-on-one -on -one work with people, we teach them skills, exercises, um, sort of processes, step-by-step -step things for them to do on their own to, you know, for their own personal growth or their transformation or whatever they're working on with you. So if you basically talk to your clients and they find what you say to be valuable because it increases their skill level in some way, then you're ready to teach an online course. And the way that I teach how to do this is it's not about creating something for months and months and finally launching it. The way I teach it is that you first do a bit of market research to discover what your audience wants you to teach them. And your audience really starts with the people you already know, your friends, your colleagues, you know, people who could possibly uh, learn any of your skills so your audience begins there but some of you have an email newsletter some of you have a facebook page or youtube channel but wherever your audience is whether you start with friends or you start with your existing uh, business audience you do some market research to first discover what they want you to teach and then you give it to them you give them what they told you that they want you teach that to them in an online course and the online courses that i recommend are short courses. I don't recommend that you first launch a you know, three, six month online course. That's not a good idea, especially if you haven't launched a lot of courses yet. Especially in your first year, maybe even your first two years of launching online courses, I recommend short courses. Courses that are three sessions long, maybe even just a single session. That's how I did it in my first year of launching online courses, single session courses, I did that for a whole year. And then the second year, I launched two session courses. And then now, most of my courses are between three to even 10 sessions long. But I've been doing this for years now. So um, I want to show you, uh, for those of you who are wondering exactly what you're going to learn in my 
masterclass, I want to show you my screen and show you exactly the uh, list of uh, topics that you're going to be learning. So give me just a moment and I'm going to show that to you here. Okay, so here are some of the specifics of what we're going to be going over in, our, in, in the masterclass. Of course, we'll talk about the different types of online courses. Uh, we'll talk about the overall business model where your online course will fit. What should you, what's the difference between free content and paid online courses? Okay, so we'll talk about that. Um, we'll talk about preparing your course, of course. Uh, uh, the rhythm of teaching, this is the principles, rather. Um, why you shouldn't be so concerned about creating deep transformation. This is uh, something that is a big aha moment for a lot of my students. Um, that, you know, deep transformation actually happens within your whole business model rather than in any specific course. But we'll, we'll, you'll, talk, you'll, you'll learn more about this inside the course. How do you improve your courses? We'll talk about the actual logistical preparation in terms of my step-by-step -step registration process, what I use in terms of to automate some of my processes and the hardware that's needed. It's very minimal, actually. How do you choose your course topics? How do you decide on them? How do you figure out what, what you're going to be teaching? Okay, I'm going to give you a series of questions to brainstorm. How do you survey your audience? I'll give you several types of surveys and the, the actual examples of what I do so you can borrow as much as what I do as you want. Um, how do you outline what you say in the course? Um, how do you uh, time the course? So in a 60-minute session, how should you break up the time? And I give you, with, with my decade of experience teaching, I give you a sample 60-minute outline. And then the actual steps, of course, preparation, the 10 steps of doing it. Um, how do you prevent student overwhelm? Okay. How do you price your course? How long should the course be? What kinds of things should you include in the course, such as a resource guide, et cetera? Um, should you create a Facebook group for your course? What about courses that have intimate student sharing? How do you make it comfortable for your students to share? Is it going to be recorded? Okay. What are the various tech tools, the technology? for creating online courses. And then of course, we talk about how do you launch it, how do you market, how do you get students to take the course. I have a basic marketing plan for those of you who wanna keep it really simple. And for those of you who are more advanced, I have a detailed plan as well. How do you do course titles? How do you create credibility for your courses? Um, should you have early bird incentives? Um, how long, what's the overall schedule for launching your online course? What should your web page say for, you know, what should, how should you describe the course itself? Uh, you know, a very important strategy I teach is how do you use partnerships to launch your course? And that's one of the things that I want to um, mention here is that inside my course is we, it comes with a supportive private Facebook group for the rest of the year for you to get um, mutual support from other students and even potential partnerships to market and launch your course. So you'll get a lot of um, encouragement, accountability, and fellow students will join your course if you wish that they do, uh, to give you feedback, testimonials, et cetera. You can do that for them if you want to, et cetera. We'll talk about how do you teach live sessions well, you know, uh, the, the various, um, the various uh, sort of things that I recommend in terms of how do you teach the live session, how do you become a better teacher online, um, and the logistics after the, the sessions. And for those of you who are wondering um, what the price is, the price of this masterclass, along with the support group that goes for months and months, is a whopping $250. <laughs> so it's actually, compared to most programs like this that give you the comprehensive A to Z on how to create and launch your online courses along with a support group that's facilitated by me and support for months. It's usually more than that, but I'm keeping it a fairly accessible price at 250. It's two payments of 125 each. And so if that sounds like it's doable for you, I hope you will join us. Again, right now, um, more and more people are needing to learn from the comfort of their own home or office rather than go out to learn and not only is it you know, students that are you know, younger students but also adult students are learning all kinds of skills and whatever it is that you have helped friends with that you have helped clients with can very likely be turned into an online course or a series of online courses and and just to answer another question that i often get is am i talking about 
uh, something that you record and then sell? Or am I talking about teaching something live and then selling it afterwards? Well, it could be done either way. I personally prefer to teach it live so that it's more exciting, there's more interest, uh, there's more um, kind of engagement, and I feel more interested when I'm actually talking to real people. Um, I, I, I prefer to teach it, when I say teach it live, I mean teach it online by having people there in real time engaging with my material. I prefer to do that and then sell it afterwards as well, but some, some of my students prefer to record on their own and then sell it. So either model is totally fine. Uh, the key that I just said earlier is to make it shorter courses so that you can test the market and really iterate uh, on the various versions of your courses and have more courses for people to choose from rather than a long course that has a lot of material. All right, so I hope this is helpful. And if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to comment below and maybe I'll see you in the program. All right, take care.